Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of Do Yourself From House to Home. If you're new here, my name is Ellie and we do lots of fun crafting DIYs on this channel. And today I'm so excited to be joining in a super fun challenge. It's the 5 DIYs Under $5 Challenge. And today we're going to be working on some fun spring farmhouse DIYs. So I'll be sure to leave the link to the playlist in my description box and let's get to it. Alrighty, for our first DIY today, I'm going to be using this adorable little pizza board by Woodpecker's Crafts. And I'm going to start off by adding a couple pieces here of some painter's tape. And I'm going to paint the center using some of this, I believe it's Vintage Blue by Folk Art. And then we'll carefully remove that painter's tape. Next, I'm going to go in and add some white folk art chalk paint on the tops and bottoms. And then I decided to add in some more blue stripes. So I'll use some more painter's tape to add in a couple more stripes. Alrighty, now that it's all dry, I use my Silic Cameo 4 to print out this little decal onto some white vinyl that says welcome and I'll add it to the center. And then I made this cute little jute twine bow using some Dollar Tree jute twine and I'll just add it to the top here using a little bit of hot glue. And that'll be it for this adorable DIY. Alrighty, and on to our next DIY today, I'm going to be using this square piece of scrap wood that I had in my stash. And I'm going to start off by painting it using some of our vintage teal blue chalk paint. And now that it's all dry, I use my Silic Cameo 4 to print out this little stencil that says Creamery with an adorable little cow. And I'll go ahead and fill it in on our sign using some white chalk paint. Go ahead and carefully remove our stencil and weed out the little pieces. Next, I cut a piece of this Dollar Tree burlap ribbon and I'm going to add it to the top of our little sign here. And I also made a cute little jute twine bow that I'll add to the center as well. And with our last little finishing touch, that'll be it for this adorable little creamery sign DIY. For our next project today, I'm going to be using this cute little farmhouse tractor from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to start off by painting it using some of our vintage teal chalk paint. Alrighty, next I'm going to go in with a little bit of some black ink Waverly chalk paint to touch up the little tires on our tractor. Next I'm going to go in with a teeny tiny little paintbrush here to add in some little metallic silver accents onto our tractor. Alrighty, and last but not least, I'm going to go in with a little bit of our vintage teal and white chalk paint mixed together to add in some little window details here, and that'll be it for our adorable little farmhouse tractor DIY. <music> and 
And on to our next DIY today, I'm going to be using this rectangular piece of wood that I had in my stash. And I'm going to start off by painting it using some of our vintage teal folk art chalk paint. Now that it's all dry, I'm going to go in with the top part of this little Timu stencil that says Fresh Daily and I'm going to fill it in using some white chalk paint on the center of our little rectangle. And then we'll carefully remove that stencil on top and I'm going to go in with the remainder of that paint to distress the edges of our little sign. And last but not least, I'm going to go in with a Dollar Tree white metallic marker to add a dot in each corner and that'll be it for this DIY. And on to our last DIY today, I'm going to be using this little square box from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to start off by painting it with some more of our vintage teal folk art chalk paint. And after leaving it to dry a bit, I'm going to use the back side of it here to add a cute little stencil. This is from this Waverly set, and I'm going to fill it in using some white folk art chalk paint. And then we'll carefully remove that stencil. Look how pretty it turned out. Next I'm going to go in with just the remainder of our white chalk paint here to distress the edges of our little square box. Alrighty, and last but not least, I'm going to pop in some of these little box green little picks that I had in my stash to our little box, turning it into an adorable little mini planter. And that'll be it for today's Spring Farmhouse DIYs. I really hope you guys enjoyed them. Please let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching today's episode, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, as well as that little notification bell to be notified when I release new content. And I'll be sure to leave the links to my Etsy shop, as well as my social media in my description box. And we'll see you next time.